Hey, we're here with uh, Kyle Peters right now. What's going on, Kyle? Uh, not much. Just got done with uh, Oak Hill, and uh, you know, it's all right week. All right week. Um, why don't you give me a little bit of a rundown? I know you got a title, but uh, let's just kind of summarize everything really quick in a sense, you know? All right. Well, uh, first part of the week, I had some bike problems, clutch problems, getting off the gate. Couldn't couldn't get a start to save my life, really. Um, you know, it uh. It came along for the one class, but I was just struggling with my starts, and really it was whoever got the start here. That's who was winning, really. But, uh, you know, it's I'm healthy, and uh, that's all I can really ask for. Um, that one moto that you did get the get the win in there at the end for that title, that felt, had to feel good. I mean, you guys caught up to Bolgo, which kind of he's got a lot going on around him. Um, what did that mean to you? Uh, it was really good, you know. Um, I knew what I had to do. I uh, I knew I couldn't let Frace in front of me when Bogle was ahead, but Bogle started making making some mistakes, and uh, you know I uh, I just put my head down and rode rode my own race. Really, it was it was really good. So, as far as that, we did hear that you had a little bit of a broken bone issue. Can you comment on that? Well, not really bo broken bone, but. Uh, Oh yeah, I guess you'd call it that. <laughs> but uh, first, one of my first motos, I I ran into one of the still poles and broke broke my foot. But uh, you know, I uh, tough through it and made it all good. <laughs> That's tough. But um, so what is your comments, I guess, on the track this week? How did you feel about it? And maybe over past years, total everything together. Well, I really felt like they. It was a really good track this week. They did a great job. It, they could have maybe plowed it up a little deeper, maybe got gotten a little more rough and more lines. But, I mean, it's kind of a highway. And uh, I don't know what was, what was up with the water thing, but it, it got really dusty. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like they had some issues with that. Um, you recently switched over to Yamahas and everything. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, when did you get them, and how did it kind of come about? Or let's go with, how did it come about? Uh, it all came about with uh, right after Loretta's. We were uh, looking to get, you know, uh, getting set up for the pros, and uh, you know, we really, we really decided. Uh, uh, Donnie Luce really stepped it up for us, and uh, he just he just made it happen. Really, I mean, I, I'm loving the Yamahas. They're really really great bikes. I got them working really good, and. Uh, I'm doing the last four outdoors with uh, Star Racing Yamaha, so I'm really pumped for that and just really getting ready for that. Was that part of your deal when you talked with Yamaha that you were going to get on a pro team, or did that come about afterwards? Uh, that all just came about afterwards, really. That's cool. And then, are you getting support from them now, like running their motors, running everything else? Um, they're helping me, they're helping me out with my motors, but uh, that's that's really about it. Uh, I, we're kind of doing my own deal for for now until until after Loretta's. So, are you going to be riding one of their bikes for Loretta's, or how's that going to work? Um, I'm just going to be racing the same bike I raced here. So that's it, it's a good bike, but uh, you know I'm I'm sure it's nothing compared to a factory bike. <laughs> um, so then after Loretta's, you get one of their bikes, and then that's how you're going to go on. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do the last four outdoors, and which is the week after Loretta's so I mean hop on one of their bikes for that week and just just get ready for that that's cool so then obviously you probably switched a little bit of training to get more towards that then right now um, where are you training at right now and what's going on with that uh, I've been at MTF for I think three years now and uh, Colleen's just been kicking my butt really uh, she's she's really been helping me work on my cardio and I know I don't I don't get tired anymore. I just have some issues here and there, and getting all that stuff worked out. But uh, coming into the season, I, about two weeks before Mill Creek, I actually crashed and uh, hit my elbow pretty hard. But that that put me out for the the two weeks before Mill Creek. I didn't even ride hardly at all, and uh, just really recovering. I mean, it sucks, but. It, it happens, you know. So really, you weren't 100% both weeks of racing then. 
De definitely not, definitely not. Mill Creek, I, I struggled for sure with just bike problems and my elbow and everything. And then elbow started feeling better and <laughs> it hurt my foot. So, I mean, it, it's been a, a big struggle. And uh, I'm going to recover and get back to work and get ready for Vegas. Vegas. So then you guys are making the big trip out. Are you planning to stay the next three weeks or whatever out here? Or what's your plan? Uh, no, nah, go back to MTF, uh, recover, and start working a lot harder than I have been. And uh, try to pick up some speed. And then I'm not sure how we're getting out there, if we're driving or flying or what. And just play that by ear. <laughs> play that by ear. Um, what's going on after Vegas? You're going straight to what's next after that for you? Uh, I think after Vegas, it's uh, Mammoth, I think, and then so, then... so then you're staying out west to do that, or is it kind of a... Um, I'm sure we will stay out west and just ride and train and test a little bit, just to get ready for Ponca and Loretta's. All the way out west till Ponca Loretta's, or back to MTF right before? Uh, back to MTF right before Ponca and Loretta's. So then, are you like living at MTF, a house, or do you have a motorhome? What's the deal on that? Uh, I stay in a motorhome uh, with my mechanic. It's uh, it's a, it's the rough life. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rough life. Then, kind of explain that out a little bit for some people. Well, uh, you know, get myself up eight o'clock ride. I mean, I don't have to worry about about my bikes, but you know, gotta gotta go get groceries, do my own laundry, this and that. But uh, Keith Tucker's mom, she she helps me out with. A lot of my food, and uh, she cooks for me, and it's, it's she helps me out a lot. <laughs> That's good. So giving a little shout out right there, then. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So then, would you say that MTF is taking you to that next level from where you were at before? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, I've been pretty much living there for three years, and uh, she's really got to me got to me to where I am today. I mean, she she really kicks kicks my butt out there and and makes me who I am. So are you like a top dog there, or is it always a constant battle to be the best? It's always a constant battle. You, you, you have to be on your game every day. Between me, Joey Savacci, and Gavin Faith, we, we all battle it out every day. <laughs> well then with that, who do you got to thank that obviously helped you get this much and this far? I can't thank my family enough. Uh, they've helped me through everything, been with me. Uh, my older sister, my little sister, my mom, my dad, just everyone. Uh, Got to thank uh, Donna Lewis at Yamaha for setting me up this year. So good, I can't thank him enough. GYTR, uh, Yamalube, uh, all the guys, Rusty Reynolds at Triangle Cycles, all the guys over there helped me out so much. Um, all the guys at Star Racing, they sent me a mechanic out this week. My mechanic got sick at uh, Mill Creek, had to go back, uh, doing all the bike work there. Uh, all, John Cuso, Von Zipper. Uh, answer racing, pro taper, all the guys at Skull Candy, all the guys at Unit for hooking me up with some sick clothing. Uh, One Industries, Ian Runyon, I've known him forever. He's uh, he's a great guy. Um, all the guys at Dunlop, EVS, FMF, Renegade, uh, Radimex, um, just everyone. I mean, Colleen Millsaps, can't think her enough. MTF, just. Uh, Gosh, just everyone, thank you so much. Perfect, thank you.